Hey guys, it's Manuel here. Welcome back to the channel. Before I jump into this video, I want to ask you guys to do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button and leave a like underneath this video. I'm going to really appreciate that and it's going to help me on the algorithm. But aside from that, let's jump into today's topic. And that is Anthony Edwards. So Anthony Edwards has had quite the week this week. Uh, he had one of the monstrous, one of the most electrifying dunks I've ever seen from a young player. You know, we often talk about dunkers. And when we talk about young dunkers, we think of guys like John Morant. We think of guys like Zion Williamson. And it, and rightfully so, those guys are high flyers. But someone we don't really talk about is Anthony Edwards. That guy is very gifted. He has hops for days. And a few days ago, he had the craziest dunk. It reminded me of a young Blake Griffin or a young DeAndre Jordan. Do you guys remember like Lob City when they were dunking over people and it was just... It was embarrassing that was Anthony Edwards. But I want to talk about Anthony Edwards in terms of his skill and his playing style. So because of the dunk, Anthony Edwards was in the news and people were talking about him and something came to the forefront and that was his playing style. For a while now, there's been a running meme that Anthony Edwards is Michael Jordan's long lost son. They look the same. Like if you look at them kind of side by side for quite a while, they almost look like father and son. But the similarities don't stop there. Uh, Anthony Edwards kind of plays like Michael Jordan. And so the similarities and the comparisons stem from there. Now, a lot of people dismiss this, right? And understandably so, because Michael Jordan, for some odd reason, Michael Jordan in a sporting world is like a messiah figure. Nobody compares anyone to Michael Jordan. You will get his religious fanatics coming after you. You will get old heads coming after you. It's kind of like a no-go zone. And the only other player that has been compared to Michael, to Michael Jordan and hasn't been crucified for it was Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant coming up was, was seen as a carbon copy of Michael Jordan. They played the same, right? The, the, the fadeaway shot that Kobe had, famously had, look like Michael Jordan and he even said I looked up to Michael Jordan he tried to emulate him and people who played with Kobe said he literally wanted to be like Mike right and so he was the only player that I remember and I'm a pretty young guy I'm in my 20s early 20s that anyone could compare to Michael Jordan and people wouldn't let it slide aside from that you're getting crucified if it's anybody else you're getting crucified LeBron doesn't get compared to Michael Jordan and rightfully so LeBron more plays like uh like like Magic Johnson um but better obviously so because of that you don't compare anyone to Michael Jordan especially not in front of the old heads they're gonna tear you apart they're gonna say it's not true and so because of Anthony Edwards being in the news right Chris Broussard finally said the quiet part out loud on national TV. The comparisons between Michael Jordan and Anthony Edwards have been there for a while, but it's been on like TikTok, it's been on Twitter, it's been like a running meme. It hasn't really been taken seriously by like the older people that watch basketball, so like the, the Colin Cowards of the world or Skip Bayless, right? And so, and so Chris Broussard, of first things first, finally said the quiet part out loud. This kid plays like Michael Jordan. And to back up his claim, he claims that he actually talked to Michael Jordan and got to ask Michael Jordan what he thought of Anthony Edwards. And Michael Jordan agreed. He sees a lot of himself in Anthony Edwards. And honestly, going back and watching Michael Jordan, I see a lot of Michael Jordan in Anthony Edwards. First of all, their playing style, almost identical. Remember what I first said about Anthony Edwards being able to pass as Michael Jordan's son, not only do they look the same, they literally play the same. Like you, you look at him, you're like, this is Michael. This would be Michael if Michael played in today's in today's game. Uh, he wears like this armband, and he looks like Michael Jordan, right? That so there's the similarities there. But then also, I think he has the mentality of Michael Jordan. I think Anthony Edwards, out of all the young players, right? I think Anthony Edwards has the mentality closest to that of a Michael Jordan, to that of a Kobe Bryant. And what is that mentality? The alpha mentality, the mentality that you walk in a room and you size up the guy that's the biggest and you want to take him down to assert your dominance. That's the type of guy that Anthony Edwards strike me, strikes me as, right? You saw in the Last Dance documentary, he, he said, hey, I walked into practice and I looked to see who's the best guy here and I was going to attack him and I was going to go after him every single practice. 
That is what a dominant assertive personality does. And that and Anthony Edwards strikes me as having that. We saw last year in international play when Anthony Edwards was on the USA team. All the coaches clearly said, he's the best guy. He's the leader, right? That team had a lot of talent on it, right? Uh, it had uh, like Austin Reeves, Bam Adebayo. It had a lot of the young up and coming American players that are going to be competing for the Olympic gold medal in the future on it. And Anthony Edwards stood out. He was the one that saved them a lot of the games last year. They were down and he just kind of took over the game and they all followed him, right? To be a young kid, right? Because he wasn't the oldest. To be the young, a young guy in which elite NBA basketball players, all-star caliber type of basketball players, all are willing to submit and follow your lead. Anthony Edwards showed that he demonstrated that last year on Team USA. That shows me he's like Kobe, he's like Michael Jordan. That mentality, not only he's playing stuff, but that mentality of, I'm the best here, follow my lead, I'm gonna lead you to the promised land. And Edwards has that, and looking back on it, right, I can't believe how Anthony Edwards has separated himself from the pack, right, from the guys that are about his age. So guys like LaMelo Ball that he came into the league with, right, James Wiseman, that 2020 draft, there were talks about whether LaMelo Ball is better than Anthony Edwards or not. Four years later, he's absolutely separated himself from, from uh, LaMelo Ball, separated himself from anybody in that class, but not only in that class, the, the class before him in 2019. If, if I were to give you an option of, you can either take Zion Williamson, you can take John Moran or Anthony Edwards to build your team around, right? To, 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 to build a team around. Who are you taking? Uh, chances are the majority of people are going to take Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards, to me, has separated himself from guys that are his age, that are that are that should be competing with him for the the title of next face of the league. You ask older guys now, now right? And they'll tell you, LeBron once said, LeBron even said this, right? At Kevin Durant, they say the next bet for they say for the next batch of players, the next generation, the guys most likely to be the faces of the league are Anthony Edwards and Victor Wembanyama. Now, Victor Wembanyama is a phenomenal. That guy's an alien, right? He will be the face of the league because of his freakish, freakish body. He's like 7'4 and an alien. He, he can't help but be the face of the league. He can't help but stand out a amongst his peers, right? But Anthony Edwards isn't the same. He, he's not taller than, than John Morant. He's not bigger than Shea Gilgis Alexander. But he has work ethic. He has the talent. He has the mentality to lead guys. And not only that, he has ice in his veins. And he has the mentality of, I'm going to go up there and I'm going to dunk on you the most disrespectful way. He dunks as if Michael Jordan, he dunks like Michael Jordan would dunk. And Anthony Edwards is poised to be the best American player for the foreseeable future. I don't think any American player right now holds a candle to Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards is separating himself from the pack. And I think he's the guy that's going to be Team USA or American basketball, the face of American basketball for the foreseeable future. Because this year... 2024 is going to be the last year that you're going to get guys like Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, LeBron James, and Anthony Davis competing for Team USA and competing at the peak of their prime. After this year, you, I don't think any of the guys that we're going to see on Team USA this year are going to be on there. So who's the next batch of guys? That's going to be the John Morant of the world. That's going to be the uh, Anthony Edwards, LaMelo Balls, uh, the Zion Williamson. Those guys are going to be Chet Holmgren. Those guys are going to be the ones that are going to be representing Team USA in the future. And suffice it to say, I think Team USA is going to have a tough time competing in the Olympics. But they're really lucky to have a guy like uh, Anthony Edwards. I think he's only going to get better with age. But yeah, those are just my thoughts on Anthony Edwards. I can't wait to see how his career pans out. Leave your thoughts down in the comments. But aside from that, thank you for watching.